Hey folks, today we're taking a look at the Amazon exclusive Power of the Primes Punch Counter Punch. The gimmick of Punch Counter Punch is that he can wear a Decepticon disguise to infiltrate the Decepticon base. So I'm going to start with the articulation for Punch and then go on to Counter Punch's articulation. Right, so the head is on a little ball joint. The shoulders are on a ball joint but well his movement isn't limited because it can do the full 360. He has a bend at the elbow and he has a ball joint on his hip and a bend at the knee. There's no waist articulation but that's because of the gimmick. Fun part, I'm going to transform him in a counter punch. It's dead fun and dead simple. So you're going to take these bumper parts, push them up like that. Then take the elbows and you're going to bend them like that. And flip them round. Now, watch this. Watch this. There we are, you see that? That's his head sculpt revealed. And what you're going to do now is just push out the hands like so. They just basically push out like that. And there we go. There is counter punch. The articulation is exactly the same. In terms of your clearance here for the arms, that will vary depending on how you pose in the front part of his car really. But other than that, your articulation is exactly the same but I absolutely love doing that little transformation. That's very clever in how they've done it. Of course, come with a Prime Master, exactly the same as previous ones, just with this lovely uh, clear see-through plastic. Punch does come with his gun. It's you know, quite small, quite nifty, but I suppose that's because he's a spy, so he's not gonna have a massive cannon. Um, he also comes with the horrible Power of the Primes gimmick where they plug in uh, this piece of foot or it can become a hand as armour. Uh, yeah, I don't really care for that gimmick in the Power of the Primes line at all. It's pretty much your standard affair to transform Punch Counter Punch to his alt mode. The arms become the front of the car and the legs make the back and the middle of the car. Typical car former stuff, like I said. But there's a couple of twists to it. So to complete the front of the car, you need to unpack a part from counter punches chest and then each wheel side will plug into that to form the front part of the car what you have to do is make sure that the arms are plugged into the side of punch counter punches body because if that isn't done once you've unpacked the back part of punch counter punch it won't tab into place to form the car body this must be done once you've got that nailed because it'll take you a few attempts then it's just a case of sort of adjusting and finagling um, the back of punch, counter punch, until everything tabs into place. But once you've done that, that you've got a rather lovely alt mode. punch in his alt mode and what an alt mode it is, I absolutely love this alt mode. Those clear plastic windows are a touch of brilliance. The wheels decked out in this nice red, some lights painted at the back as well as the windshield at the back as well and some nice lovely paint at the front. Kind of invokes an 80s muscle car with a, a nice futuristic touch and I'm by no means a car fanatic but these are the sort of car designs I love. Yeah, there's a little bit of panelly stuff here, as you'd expect, and the paint isn't all over. Again, you'd expect that, but still, this is fucking pretty awesome. And in terms of weapon storage, yeah, you've got the, the plug at the top, but you can store the gun in the, in the bottom here. A little tab port there, and you just take the gun, and you want it that way, so that this is going to plug in. Uh, 
And there we are. Actual proper storage for a weapon. When's the last time you've seen that in the Deluxe? Even with the weapon sword underneath, the car still rolls dead well. And as you can see, there's a ball here, a clearance just underneath the weapon to give that wall ability. So my overall thoughts on Punch Counter Punch. I think this figure is absolutely brilliant. This is a return to form for Hasbro in terms of design and build quality and QC and care with the paint apps. The joints are fairly solid. There's a little bit of looseness there, but considering what I've dealt with fairly recently with other Hasbro figures, um, you know, I think this is how it should be. Um, and this is how it was. Um, probably we're getting close to sort of like 2010 generations quality here. The figure does have a bit of weight to him as well, which is awesome. That's something you don't generally see these days. I know it seems like I'm being really harsh with the current products, but that's just how I feel at the moment. Uh, this guy does cost a bit more than a deluxe and I did get him from the US Amazon site, so pay a little bit more for shipping. But just in general, you can tell this figure has had a bit more budget put on him. Just the nice little extra features, like all these extra joints here for the transformation purposes of not only the alt mode, but to his counter punch mode as well. Um, yeah, there's been sacrifices um, with the fact the feet are a solid piece and you just basically flip it around to get the, the feet changing, but still, I'd rather that than anything else in terms of his arm articulation being sacrificed. That doesn't really bother me. This is something I'd like to see more from Hasbro as standard retail, even if we paid maybe a little bit more for the Deluxes, just to get this quality. It really is impressive and I'm very happy to have this figure and recommend him.